Hello, blind people. How are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist on this channel. I like to take that science and apply it to all things plants. And in today's video, we're talking about mutant fruits and uh, some crazy things that you most likely are going to see in your garden this year if you are in an area that is very hot and you're watering on a daily basis because it is the perfect time for us to end up with uh, little plants growing out of our fruits. So things like tomatoes, corn, peas, beans, uh, peppers, you name it, cucumbers, zucchinis, all may end up with little plants either inside or poking out the sides of the fruits. And so we're gonna talk about whether or not this is mutant fruits, if this means you have a horrific genetically modified plant in your yard that you should not eat, or if it is completely normal and natural process that happens with our plants. But first, before we get into that, we have um, a little, this is not paid whatsoever, but it is very cool and I thought you guys would enjoy it. So there's a company out there called Primoza and they made these super cute calendars. So I'm gonna leave a link down below um, for their startup in regards to this. And these are, uh, they have two types. They have one that is undated, which is definitely for me and my brain. I'm, and yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not the most organized when it comes to using a calendar. And then they have those for the OCD folk out there that actually follow dates and they know what day of the week it is and what year it is. I don't even know what year it is right now. But any hoosers, these are super cute, you guys, and I actually really do enjoy these. Um, so not only are they beautifully crafted little calendars, but uh, they have seeds in them. So every month has a new seed uh, packet with it uh, that you can plant in your garden or plant indoors. And I think the part that I enjoy the most out of this is the fact that they have very unique vegetables and uh, plants in here. So for example, they have mallow, uh, which I've never grown before. They have woodruff, uh, they have palm kale, never grown that. They have a blue radish, they have corn flowers, they have melliot, uh, celery, monarch celery. I mean, they just have so many cute uh, little things in here. And the crew is, you know, it's awesome. It's a young group that is doing this. And I just, I love this. They do have an Instagram as well that you guys can follow, but curled, crusted. I mean, there's herbs, there's fruits, there's vegetables, you name it, it's in here. And I'm in love with it. So they're doing a startup for this. If you guys want to get your booklets or your calendars be sure to grab them like i said it's not a paid advertisement or anything i just thought that you guys would actually really enjoy this because it is it's pretty cool i like it personally i enjoy it hopefully i didn't just flash my address well if i did now you know okay so let's get into the idea of franken fruit sprouting more fruit what's happening. So this is a phenomenon that you're going to see due to high heats and high moisture, meaning if it's 45 degrees Celsius outside like it is right now, and we water every single day, you know, twice a day, for example, we may very well end up with this happening. So this is called viviparity, viviparity. And so essentially what's happening is it's premature germination within the fruit. Now, typically a fruit will emit a hormone to keep the seeds inside of the unharvested fruit in dormancy. And for a lot of plants, we need either scarification, fertilization, some sort of manipulation or change in temperature of the seed in order for it to germinate. However, this is not the case with all plants. Some plants are able to just germinate so long as the suppressant hormone is not present, the heat is there and the moisture is there. So they will germinate and make a new baby plant. However, this is even more common in high heat because our plants typically are, you know, they're going into their dormancy and they're dying off faster due to lack of resources or them thinking, you know, this is high heat, I might as well call it a day. And so their hormones will go down, which will then cause fruits that are hanging out on the plant 
to ultimately sprout and make more fruit. Now, this is also very common to happen on kitchen countertops. If it's been harvested from the fruit and it's placed in a warm, moist area with some sunlight, we end up with viviparity happening again because we don't have the hormone suppression from the plant or the hormone suppression is running out because we've let it sit around for much too long and voila, we end up with baby plants inside or kind of growing out the sides. It is completely normal. It is not a sign of GMO hybrid or anything crazy and it is completely edible so long as you want the extra crunch so you can eat these plants you also can leave these plants and they will make a new plant the new plant will not be the same as the adult so long as it was not a closed pollinated system if it is an open pollinated system meaning it is outdoors exposed to the greatness of the outdoors, then you will probably end up with some sort of hybrid depending on what pollen was introduced into that flower during the flower's life. So most of these are going to be hybrid because most of our plants are open pollinated. We don't have controlled experiments or controlled gardens within our garden. So we'll end up with some sort of hybrid type plant, which may mimic the parent, but in some cases may not mimic the parent. And this is where you can end up with some wild and crazy looking fruits. So that is quite simply it. Very, very short video, but I thought I would do one because I do think it's going to be very, very common this year. And not many of you are going to be asking, why is my cucumber sprouting another cucumber and can I eat it? And you can, or you can let it grow. It's kind of up to you what you want to do there, but there's nothing wrong with your plant. There's nothing wrong with your gardening style and you cannot control it. There's no controlling it. Uh, the only real control you can have is making sure you're supplying the adult plant with all its needs and its requirements so that it isn't triggered into an early germination cycle or into an early life cycle. That's literally your only recourse. But other than that, even then you may not win especially in this heat. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you've had Viviparry happen to you and be sure to send me videos or uh, photos of this over Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, the website gardeningcanada.net, whatever the case is, I would actually love to see these images. I think it's just so cool. So I wanna thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.